Hello Abacus user. Welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do an impact problem and this particular problem will be like a, a lot of uh, aerospace industry or uh, defense industry what they do is uh, a projectile penetrating a plate and whenever they design a projectile what particular velocity whether it's going to penetrate steel part or not so that problem we are going to do impact problem and then we are going to use a failure criteria and uh, i'm going to do this in 6.113 where we are we are going to define a metal failure using a shear failure but after 6.11 there is a star damage so there is a damage our damage evaluation is there and uh, we'll use a element deletion criteria so i'll just uh, solve this problem so this is what we are going to do so a projectile will hit and then it will uh, because of a shear failure element will delete and then uh, it will create a, a hole in a center so this is what exactly we are going to do so i'll just show you another end so we'll fit it so it's hitting and then it's removing so this is the uh, the problem we'll do so you can see it's a projectile hitting and then then crossing uh, creating a hole in a uh, plate so i'll just stop this so quickly we'll go through this particular problem what we're going to do this will be a circular uh, disc and this circular disc will be 100 millimeter diameter 10 millimeter depth there will be a rigid, uh, rigid uh, projectile diameter 30 millimeter depth will be 50 millimeter uh, the plate will be made of the steel uh, typical 210 GPA 0.3 poison ratio density 7.85 and then uh, plasticity data I just just uh, just to get a good uh, see the animation how the element is I just uh, use a very low uh, low carbon steel data but you can use uh, the real data and then we are going to use a star shear failure so the shear failure is the 0.2 is the effective plastic strain it will delete the element and then it will just penetrate uh, it spears the the projectile through the plate projectile mass is the 100 gram we are going to use a, a units called a ton millimeter newton and second so you see the density is in 7.85 e power minus 9 ton per millimeter cube this is in mpa 210 e power 03 mpa uh, 120 mpa 220 mpa and point two is the uh, the failure strain uh, the steps which we are going to use is uh, we'll quickly create the geometry circular plate projectile we'll use a metal data then manually we'll edit in uh, abaca ci a uh, shear failure will create instance mesh contact initial velocity boundary condition element selection deletion option and then we'll use inertia so quickly i'll create a new uh, no i'll say and then i'll say uh, I'll select a set directory I'll say this I'll say new so we'll start quickly so first I'll create a circular disk 3d deformable solid extrusion I'll quickly create at uh, 0 comma 0 point then I'll just create a circular shape I'll give a dimension here it will be 50 radius and then I'll say okay just extrude this will be 10 millimeter depth so quickly we create a disk so we'll create a material so it will be steel density will be 7.85 e power minus 9 tons per millimeter cube elasticity will be 210 e power 0 3 mpa poison ratio 0.3 and then we'll go for a plasticity data i'll say 120 0 240 100% plastic strain 1 so we created that material data we'll quickly create a section data it will be solid homogeneous continue 
we will select steel and we will quickly assign this to plate so we are done this it will change color so we are we are done with circular dust we are define everything now uh, now only for the circular disk we have to put a shear failure so you go to model you go to edit keyword model 1 and then you see a plasticity data here you say add after and then you put at proper spacing star shear failure and then then you put 0 0.2 plasticity and then comma so you define there so now it's everything done uh, quickly then we'll create second part which will be a projectile uh, which will be will create 3d uh, we'll first create 3d and then we'll convert into a 2d shell r3 and r4 and discrete rigid i'll again create in center 0 comma 0 and then i'll create a projectile just quickly check what is this so this is 20 we are saying 15 and then done and blind depth we are putting 50 so this is the this is the projectile is done now the important thing we are going this is a solid but we are we are just going to take a peripheral shell so shape shell from solid you select this and set done so we are connoted that then we'll create a reference point in center so we created a reference point uh, in a center so now we created both part we created material everything we'll go to the assembly we'll create instance so we'll select both dependent mesh okay now you can see there is a, some penetration here so we have to remove this so we'll just say this projectile the starting point zero 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 comma zero comma i'll say 15. so it's move back so we position the uh, both this uh, now we'll do one thing we'll quickly mesh the part so we'll go to the mesh part wise for circular disk we'll set this to around 1.5 apply it will be too fine we'll put something around 1.7 apply okay and then we'll mesh it So guys, now uh, we created the geometry for the circular disk. We assign metal property, and then we we already mesh it. This is auto mesh. Now for this mesh, you have to select the element de uh, deletion option. So assign element type. You go. It will be default by standard. You have to select it for the explicit. We are going to do in an explicit solver, and then element deletion option. You say yes, and then say okay. So that way, element deletion option will be set up for this particular now go to the second part projectile this make it something like a 3 uh, apply and then just uh, mesh it so both mesh done now you can see in assembly both mesh done now uh, We'll create. Uh, we, we require all this node for a slave or a contact definition, and then we want this uh, bottom surface for the uh, master contact. So first, we'll go and then uh, create a set nodal set disk nodes. This will be for contact. So you'll find in later stage where we are going to use. So we created that and uh, similarly for projectile we'll create a set surface create will create a master surface and then we are going to use this surface done 
now you see there is it, it's arcing choose a side for the shell and internal face so the brown is normal outside and purple is uh, normal inside so we want a positive so I selected brown so both surface uh, selected I'll quickly go and say interaction I'll just create a, a friction penalty based friction 0 0.2 you define that you go to the contact you select the contact explicit surface to surface contact first surface you go and select the the master surface which we have created second will be the nodal base continue and then say ok so both this contact is done now we'll quickly uh, define the boundary conditions so the first boundary condition will be the end caster the plate complete outer surface we are going to constant it so you select it outer so you see here it is selected and then then say done and then you say end caster so you done that the second BC will add for the the projectile so we are going to reference point we'll select it and then we'll uh, other than Z direction we'll just constrain everything so that we are done now we'll go to the predefined field in load you can see predefined so we'll uh, assign a velocity so initial velocity you select that particular reference point done and then then you say minus 100 meters per second since it is a millimeter then it will be uh, 100 e power 0 3 millimeter per second so that you are done now we have to define a mass for this so I'll just go to property and projectile and then then I'll just define a mass so you see there is a reference point then you go to spatial inertia create point mass so select that and then it will be um, 100 gram so it will be 0 0.0001 tons so it will corresponding to 100 gram we are done this and uh, I'll just go back to the PPT we created the geometry we define material we define a shear foliar instance mesh contact initial velocity boundary and element selection and inertia now we'll, we'll create quickly uh, the steps so we'll create a step uh, you say dynamic explicit then time will be 0 0.005 or take 0 0.05 and then then okay mm, I'll just 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 change shorter time so we can see it 0 0.003 or it's okay for 0 0.005 we can see it and so I think everything is done so I'll just quickly save this file so I'll just create shear failure demo and I'll say impact we save this file we'll create a job quickly we'll first go for a data check so I'll just edit it um, we'll just give some different name there are confusion so I'll say impact new continue ok and then we'll just go for a data check so it's going for data check it will check if there is any error or not so there is a merging keyword edit change there are some so it's gone submitted for the analysis uh, I hope it will through in case there is some error we'll just try to rectify it or uh, there might be some issue with model change or anything
so we are just waiting for this to quickly done it so uh, it just given an error some conflict uh, with the keyword so again there is some uh, format in case you uh, do here and there then then it creates some this type of issue so we'll quickly check it so this is the issue I'll just copy this this is the correct format so I'll just go it and then then you put it uh, this is not this is guys issue with uh, if you doesn't uh, put uh, properly uh, spacing or anything so we have put now properly and then I'll delete all this conflict card so we are ready now then just uh, submit a data check I'll say submit a run and then just so guys uh, we have completed the run so right, right now you see on my uh, desktop a project are hitting and then because of a share failure element get deleted and then it's move with this so we'll just quickly see it so this is how it's happening so guys this is fun to use uh, failure criteria and all those things it looks uh, good uh, see element deleting and then uh, projectile is taking away element and all this but uh, what uh, Abaka Sakriman will suggest that whenever you use star share failure or star damage criteria just be careful whenever you use this criteria this can mislead results also so this is the one of the failure damage criteria you can use to show the customer that how the part is going to fail so we know in projectile it is clear clear is a shear failure combined with the bending so wherever you are clear you can use damage or shear criteria so thanks a lot for watching this video guys uh, i'll just repeat what we have done uh, everything is uh, similar what we do in every day uh, the only things what you should pay attention is um, going to a, a property specifically metal property and then going to the edit keyword model you change here star share failure yeah uh, uh, using the model edit so very specific location star material you put the share failure and other than that whenever you do a mesh so once you do a mesh you go to the assign element type and make sure uh, you switch on the element deletion option so thanks a lot for watching this video guys uh, we'll bring the new videos which will be interesting and guys this is a non-profit project we require a lot of your support to take this project forward for abacus user so don't forget to like us or uh, subscribers thank you bye bye